In these problems, we're using trig to solve some real world sort of situations. This first one, a common type of problem, and this is probably review for you at this point, uh, is an angle of depression problem. So an airplane over the Pacific sights an atoll. An atoll is just a little coral uh, island that forms on the surface of the ocean. So let's just draw a little picture. We've got our plane here, and it's flying over the ocean, and there's a coral atoll here and it sights it at a 20 degree angle of depression. What that means is from the cockpit the pilot is looking down and it forms 20 degree angle here to see the, uh, the island. It says if the plane is 435 meters above, so we'll just drop a, a perpendicular straight down. That makes this a right triangle, that's handy. So this is 435 meters. Uh, how many kilometers, kilometers is the plane from a point 435 meters above directly above the center of the atoll. So what they're really asking here is what's the length of this side right there? Well that's easy enough to do. We have our right angle, we have an angle of 20 degrees here. The other sides from this angle would be the opposite and the adjacent. So remembering so ka toa, opposite over adjacent, that's the tangent. So this is going to be the tangent of 20 degrees is the opposite, 435 over the adjacent, which we don't know, so I'll put an x in there. Now we can multiply both sides by x, then divide both sides by the tangent of 20. What we get is x equals 435 divided by the tangent of 20 degrees. And then we can grab our calculator and figure that out. So we're going to get 435 divided by 20 tangent equals, and we get 1,195. We have to be a little bit careful about the problem here because it gave us 435 meters, but it wants to know how many kilometers. So we're going to divide that by a thousand and we get 1.195 kilometers as our answer. Let's try another one. This next one says, to find the height of a pole, a surveyor moves 70 feet away from the base of the pole. So let's make the pole here. There's our pole. And then the surveyor moves 70 feet away. So here's our surveyor. Okay. And he uses a, a transit two feet tall. So a transit is like a little stick here. It's two feet tall, and he, from the top of the stick, he's sighting up to the top of the pole. So we've got this triangle right here. And what he saw was this is 30 degrees. Remember, this transit is two feet tall. And he's 70 feet away. So we have this side, and we want to find, well, we want to find the whole length here, but we know this part is two. So we'll find this part here, and then we'll add two to it. So let's see what we've got here. We've got an angle that's 30 degrees. We've got the opposite and the adjacent. So it's tangent again. So the tangent of 30 degrees equals the opposite, which is x, over the adjacent, which is 70. So x comes out to be, multiplying both sides by 70, 70 times the tangent of 30 degrees. And we'll plug that in on our calculator. So 30 tangent times 70. And we get 40.4 feet. But we want to add 2 to that to get the whole height of the pole. And we want the nearest foot. So the answer is going to be... 42 feet. Let's try one more. This one's a typical trig application problem. It says a ladder 16 feet long makes an angle of 50 degrees, 53 degrees with the ground as it leans against a store. So here's our ground, here's the store. We've got a ladder here leaning up against the wall. And the ladder is 16 feet long, so it looks like we have our hypotenuse there. And it makes an angle of 53, so that would be there with the ground. And we want to find how far up the store the does the ladder reach. So we're looking for this distance here. So that's our x. So from the angle side, we have the opposite side that we're looking for, and then we have the hypotenuse. So using so ka toa, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So this one is going to be the sine of 53 degrees equals x over 16, or x equals, multiplying both sides by 16, 16 times the sine of 53 degrees. So let's plug that one in on the calculator. 53 
sine times 16. And I get 12.778, let's see, to the nearest hundredth, so 12.78. Uh, and that would be feet. So that's a little bit of work in applying some trig.